TED Seeds, Capital Allocators, How the World's Elite Money Managers Lead and Invest. Welcome to the fascinating world of capital allocators, where chief investment officers, CIOs, navigate the complex financial landscape and make crucial decisions for their organizations. In Ted Seed's book, you will learn the skills required for interviewing money managers, making sound investment decisions, and negotiating effectively. Additionally, discover the importance of leadership, management, and governance in the investment process. This insightful summary explores how successful CIOs strike the right balance between flexibility and commitment in managing billions of dollars in assets and delivering outstanding results. Mastering the Art of Interviewing Money Managers CIOs need to perfect the craft of interviewing money managers to gain valuable insights for investments. The process requires preparing enough to avoid wasting time on easily researchable information yet avoiding following a rigid question format that may not yield fruitful results. Neutral and informal settings such as a football game, golf course or restaurant can be advantageous for building a personal connection with the manager. Instead of relying on a strict list of questions, CIOs should ask open-ended questions that encourage elaborate responses and follow up with thoughtful inquiries. Effective money manager interviewing skills require finding the perfect balance between making the manager comfortable and drawing out meaningful answers. One bad experience like observing a money manager mistreating a caddy could be enough to deter a potential investment. Cognitive diversity for better decision making. Making good decisions requires careful attention to the social setting around team discussions. This can be especially challenging for CIOs, as human biases can sabotage decision-making, and group decisions can be even harder. Pursuing cognitive diversity by including members who think differently from one another on the CIO's team is a surefire strategy. The CIO also needs to provide cognitive safety to these contrarians, where they feel secure to disagree without retaliation. This approach helps the team to avoid groupthink, and the CIO to make sound decisions. The book emphasizes that being hardwired to make bad decisions means making logical and unbiased decisions is not easy. However, it highlights some ways to tilt the balance in your favor, including keeping a decision journal, forming a decision group to analyze choices honestly and openly, and learning from the role of sheer luck in your decisions. Perfecting the Art of Negotiation Negotiations are a common part of a CIO's job, and mastering the basics of negotiation is crucial for effective decision-making. Negotiation involves understanding both parties' desires and finding common ground to meet them. It's important to plan for contingencies and have a clear understanding of your own interests, as well as the other parties. Tactics for better negotiating include understanding your value in the negotiation, accepting smart trades, being cautious about going first, and being willing to walk away from the table. The biggest mistake negotiators make is inadequate preparation. By perfecting the art of negotiation, CIOs can improve their game and make better decisions that benefit their organization. CIOs, leaders or managers. CIOs are proficient in interviewing managers, making investment decisions, and negotiating, but lack formal leadership and management training. Successful CIOs inspire their employees by defining a vision, setting standards, communicating frequently and authentically, and motivating their team. Adapting and evolving as a leader is crucial for success. CIOs and effective governance. Chief investment officers, CIOs, are responsible for managing other people's money and are subject to governance. Governance structures can vary depending on the size and type of organization, ranging from a family member in a family office to a board of directors in a large pension fund. The level of authority a CIO has also varies and can range from full responsibility to none. It's not the level of board authority that matters but the consistency of the governance process. Successful CIOs communicate effectively with the board, building credibility and goodwill to maintain a positive relationship. Dysfunctional organizations have unpredictable processes, so communication is crucial. 
Endurance, managing endowments beyond the long term. Institutional investors like endowments manage assets with a focus on the future beyond the long term. This presents a disconnect for chief investment officers, CIOs, who must balance current expenditures with future asset values. A CIO's investment horizon is longer than their career, requiring them to have the endurance to stick to their investment thesis even during tough times. To build flexibility into the investment process, some CIOs experiment with new asset class definitions. Notre Dame's Malpass reduced the number of asset classes to three from six, while MIT CIO shifted allocation to focus on strong managers rather than specific asset classes. The baseball analogy of the Houston Astros enduring five seasons to build a championship-winning club applies to CIOs who need to remain committed to investment plans even during poor results. Managing endowments beyond the long term requires CIOs to stay the course and have the vision to see the long game. Turning investment plans into action. Allocating investments is not a simple task for a CIO given the over 34,000 funds available. Strategies such as filtering out options are required to focus on a few hundred of them. Networking and seeking referrals from trusted top performers also helps in the process. This pool of massive investment choices highlights the need for a well-defined investment philosophy and strategy. Managing external asset managers. When a chief investment officer, CIO, hires an external money manager, they undergo a rigorous selection process, including in-person meetings and background checks, to establish a long-lasting relationship. But the job doesn't end there. CIOs must closely monitor their external managers' investment strategies and portfolios, especially during volatile markets. Style drift is a common issue that can indicate a manager's deviation from their stated investment strategy. Modern data analytics tools can be helpful in detecting and addressing these issues. CIOs should also look out for any unusual staff turnover or high-risk portfolios. By maintaining a close watch on external money managers, CIOs can avoid performance-chasing behaviors and ensure a successful long-term relationship. By the end of this rewarding journey through Capital Allocators, you have learned essential skills to become a successful Chief Investment Officer, as well as the importance of effective leadership, management, and communication within an organization. In the dynamic world of finance, these abilities enable CIOs to build strong relationships with money managers and to navigate the complexity of asset allocation, resulting in better performance and long-term value creation. As Ted Seeds highlights, the key to thriving in this challenging environment lies in the ability to adapt, maintain cognitive diversity within your team, and make unbiased decisions. Armed with these tools, your path towards mastering the capital allocation landscape is now more achievable than ever, 